Hey guys, welcome to day one of Credit 3. We're starting to work with Microsoft Word here. Uh, this is the first time you've seen extended practices where uh, you're going to be doing a lot of work in a particular program and then saving it to your flash drive. So I'm going to walk you through uh, both of these practices that uh, appear uh, for day one. Uh, what we'll do here is I'm going to drag this onto my second uh, monitor here and I'm actually going to open up Microsoft Word and just uh, walk through. So let me do that. Okay, I got Microsoft Word down here. There we go. Now, it says create a new Word document. Select the event flyer template. Okay, so I've got event menu, event postcard, event flyer. There we go. I click on that and I click create. Now what this does is it gives me a flyer that I can modify um, by clicking on the various fields here uh, and then using my formatting options up the top here. So uh, the possibilities are really endless. Um, you're probably going to want to start by putting your own picture in here. Um, I would delete this and notice how it still leaves you with a nice uh, big field here and that's uh, basically what they've done is created a like a table um, within the Word document and that's going to make it really easy for you to uh, get the results you want, make it look nice. Um, so what you do um, is to insert a picture, we're going to go here to the insert tab, we're going to go to pictures and then uh, you will have to have already downloaded something uh, off the internet. Of course for the sake of the um, exercise it really could be any picture uh, because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The idea is just to learn how to insert a picture. Uh, so we're going to have a crazy car meetup and we're going to do some drag racing. So I'm going to insert the uh, taillights of a Nissan GTR here. Uh, and you notice here how I'm kind of clicking on it and resizing it if I want to. If I want to keep it to scale, um, I click in the corner here and drag like that. Uh, if I click at the bottom, what happens is it gets kind of warped, as you can see. But I don't really mind. It still looks pretty cool, so I'm going to leave it like that. Um, and then after it says uh, try inserting the picture, it says you need to uh, include details like your name, where it will be held, and entertainment. And then you need to save it to your flash drive. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you can click on these various fields here and edit them. You're just going to click and then where it says date, you'll just type in a date. Let's say it's uh, going to be today's date, which is 7-7. Seven, seven. So 7-7-15. Seven, seven, the event title is going to be car meetup. And you guys get the idea. All right. Uh, now, once you're done with it, you're going to go here to file, and we're going to click on save. Now, this is the first time you've saved it, so it's going to ask you, well, where do you want to save it to? And I'm going to say, I want to save it to my computer. And I'm going to browse. Now, I don't have my flash drive plugged in. I'm going to plug my flash drive in here. And that should pop up. Here we are, Flash Gordo. Uh, I'm going to click on Flash Gordo. And then it says uh, here, save it to your flash drive. Call the file party invite. Okay. So I need to put this in my words project folder right here. And I'm going to call it party invite. All right, now I've saved it. Boom. Okay. Now, reopen and change the color scheme. Now, as a matter of fact, we don't even have to reopen it uh, since we're still in it. We can just go here and change the color scheme. Now, when they say change the color, color scheme, that means actually going to the uh, wrong design tab here. We're going to go to this design here. Um, so don't get fooled out by this. You've got table tools with the des design over here. It even fooled me, but this is the design that you want. So we're going to go here to design, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this color layout. I'm going to change it to this color layout. Whoa, okay, that changed the whole look of that thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can also change the fonts if I want to. I can change it to Franklin Gothic. Uh, that's not even required, but I did it just for fun, and look how easily and quickly it changes. Okay, so once I've done that, I go back to file. Now this time I'm going to save as. I'm going to Browse again. I'm gonna, I'm, so that's going to take me back to Flash Gordo because that's the last place I saved. And this time I'm going to save it as Party Invite 2. And I am going to save it. 
There we go. All right, now that was presuming that you already have a folder on your flash drive uh, called Word Projects. If you didn't have a folder already, you would just need to uh, create it. And that's easily done by browsing to your flash drive. And you get to your flash drive again, if, if you're confused about that, just by clicking down here on Windows Explorer, clicking on your flash drive, and then it'll open up right here. Uh, you can right click and create a new folder if you want to, like this. Or you can click new folder up at the top here, and that will create a new folder for you. All right, so that's how you take care of the first project. Let's take a look at your second project. Your second project says to find a copy of the Declaration of Independence online. All right, I've done that. And it says to copy and paste it into a Word document. So I'm going to I'm going to click and drag to select the text of this uh, document. I could hit Control A, but that would also uh, highlight all the other stuff on the web page. So I'm just going to uh, select this text by clicking and dragging. I'm going to right click and copy. And then I'm going to open up a Word document here. First, I'm going to close all of my windows here. I'm going to open a new one, open a blank document, and I'm going to paste it in there. All right. Now, the next part says to find and replace. So I'm going to go over here in the corner where it says replace. I'm going to click on that. All instances of men with people. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find next. And you see it's highlighted where it says men. So I click replace. And then it goes to my next instance. Now in this instance, it's uh, the men in government. So I don't want to replace that one. So I'm going to click Find Next. Ah, here we are. That one actually says Men. I'm going to replace that one. This one is in Government again, so I'm going to click Find Next. That's another government, another government, another government, another government. That's the Men in Establishment. Now we jump down here, and we seem to have lost it. Where is it? I'm looking for it. It should be highlighted on the page. Hmm. Let's click Find Next and see where that takes us. Ah, uh, here we go. Punishment, Government again, Instrument, Fundamentally. Nope, don't want any of those. Keep clicking, and we're done. Okay, so it found all instances of men and changed them. Now, we could just replace all if we wanted to, and that would go through and replace every single instance of men instantaneously. However, that would mean that we change government and instrumental and everything else that has men in it to people. So that is a quick walkthrough of how you do the first two uh, uh, exercises there, first two practices. Now the last part it says here is you need to uh, save it to the Word Projects folder as Declaration of Independence Modified. So again, we're going to go Save. I'm sorry, we'll go File, we'll go Save. And then we're going to go to Computer. We'll browse to our, uh, or, our uh, flash drive there. And then we're going to uh, type in Declaration of Independence Modified and save it. All right, that's Declaration of Independence Modified. And we go to Project Gordon here, we go to the Project Folder, and click Save. And that's it. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and good luck with the class.